Hello, welcome back to the channel. So, as you've probably seen, I've been doing a load of desert warfare content at the moment, and I'm painting up some Warlord 8th Army. However, 28mm isn't the first time I've, I've delved into the desert in scale, and actually, this week as well, I've finished basing this army. So, I thought I'd do a wee showcase for it. These are Pendraken Miniatures. 10mm. I bought them a couple of years ago at Cannonade. Uh, I bought these, Martin got a German army, we got the Blitzkrieg Commander rules. So I thought I'd show off the miniature range, show off my army, and talk a wee bit about the rules and what I've done. So, I see here, A13, a Grant, a wee bit of uh, camouflage there. And actually, just painting these up, sprayed with uh, Zandri Dust spray, throw the shade on, dry brush with Zandri Dust, dry brush with a lighter desert colour, put a bit of browns on for this bit of work on the tracks. Crusader, tank I love from World of Tanks. I'm looking at getting some transfers for these as well. Don't know what's available, but um, Cannonade's coming up and I'll have a chat with Pendraken. Now this is a brain carrier. Now this is the 8th Army one and the miniatures do have Australian hats on, but that's all right. £25 a gun coming up. As you see, quite a bit of detail in the crew there. One of the things, and you see this more with the infantry, is with World War II, especially with camouflage and stuff, the smaller scale stuff does tend to blend in a lot with the, the bases. And speaking of the bases, you'll see here, well, I've basically got Zandri Dust, I've dry brushed it with uh, Yashapti Bone, but with the bigger boulders, I picked them out in Mechanica Standard Grey before the dry brush to bring them in. Just adds a bit of colour to the bases as well. Uh, this is an anti-tank gun. Guy here, commandant. Some sort of commander, firer. Armoured car using the same sort of camouflage technique as the uh, Grant earlier. I think this is like a porty anti-tank gun. Truck. A lot of this stuff you got in the starter set. I did get the starter army and then throw in some extra stuff. With Blitzkrieg Commander, each base represents a platoon. That's a scale, but there's nothing to stop you playing around with that with each base maybe representing a, a section. Notice I've mounted these on round bases. Blitzkrieg Commander uses square bases, but for World War II gaming, I do like a round base, especially since I think Infantry etc. has got a 360 line of sight. I'm not sure can't remember off the top of my head, but um, that's what we went for. I figured round bases look good. This is a command base. In the rule set, your commanders give orders. So we, it's a, it's a wee bit of a combination of Warmaster and Epic Forty Thousand. Now, obviously, the Warmaster system went on to become the basis for the Black Powder system. So you get your commanders that will issue orders to units, and you are depending how far away. Depends on the reduce to that. So there you go, some commanders there, painted up, and some of the infantry there, radio, radio operator as well. And this is an infantry section. Brand guns, riflemen. And finally, a wee overall army command base, which I've made into a bit of a wee diorama. So it's uh, Monty with some commanders. Is is that a Matador or Dorchester um, command vehicle? I've got a wee, wee fella at the back here resting on it, radio operator. Guy making the brews. This fella he's got a brew as he as he chats to Monty as well then back round to the tanks. So that's all the different types of stuff I've got for the army. And then if I come over here, I start seeing the rest of the army all put together. So another anti-tank gun, another Grant. The the other tanks, the S-13s and the Crusaders, there's two of them make groups of three. Again, a battery of three, 25 pounders. Um, brain carriers. Loads of infantry. So we'll be looking at if, if these were platoons, you've got one, two, three platoons plus commands. 
So you'd be looking at companies. So I'm, I'm throwing together a, a battalion plus onto the battlefield. Uh, something that wasn't on the roundabouts as well. Turntable. We have some AO, machine gun platoon. Mortar platoon as well. I've also got a quick overview of when I'm painting these fellas. And how I paint all my 10 mil stuff. And I'll, I'll do some uh, painting videos on them. I won't zoom in, but you get the gist. I've mounted them on lollipop sticks and I'll just paint it piece by piece. I'll go along and paint all of one colour on, on all the models and paint all another colour on all the models. So there we go. So Pendraken, World War II. I'm looking forward to getting some games in in the desert versus Martin's Africa Corps. I do fancy doing some Italians for the desert as well. Blitzkrieg Commander looks like a solid set of rules. We've not got round to actually playing them yet. What I've seen looks good. I do like Warmaster as a, a command system and I did enjoy Epic 40,000. So there we go. Another one of my 10 mil armies. I hope you're having a great hobby time at the moment. I look forward to chatting to you and uh, answering hobby questions and hobby chat. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. Goodbye.